Today I'm going to make a jetpack, and you could add this to your game. Players come up, ah, oh, jetpack stand. I totally want a jetpack. Equip jetpack, yeah. Jetpack, nice. And then I just increase the force a little bit. That's upward force. Hit the space bar, and you are flying. This is forward force. Whoop, maybe too high. But I thought that'd be pretty cool. And we're using vector forces here too. So you can get better at your vector forces. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, I have my empty base plate right here, but I'm not gonna build the jet pack from scratch. I wanna concentrate on the vector force and the attachment that we're gonna use for the jet pack. So I put a link in the description this one right here and you go to it this will be green says get you press it you'll get the jet pack wall and a lot of the assembly and then we can concentrate on the things that move the character around so i'm going to go back to my roblox studio once i got the jet pack go to your toolbox inventory jet pack wall there we go yep okay two scripts we're going to modify them well, at least one of them, right? The movement script. Let's just play this real quick and see what we got. I'm gonna hit the play button, enter the game. There's our wall. So we got the proximity prompt. When we press it, jetpack is cloned to us. I got the little flames going. It's already an accessory. We got the sound and we got a UI, but it doesn't do anything, right? We can't go up. We need to add our attachment and our vector force to the jetpack. Now let's make our jetpack functional by applying a vector force to it, by adding a vector force to it, I should say. Let's go to our Explorer window. Here's a workspace. We're going to open a workspace. There's our jetpack wall. Let's open that. There's the jetpack in the jetpack wall that gets cloned to us when we hit the proximity prompt. And we'll open that up. Now we want to apply a force somewhere on our jetpack. Ideally, it would be like thruster one and thruster two, but we don't have to do that. That could just be for looks. In fact, I think I'm going to apply the force to the handle because the handle is that main part right there. Let's open the handle up. There's some stuff in it already. That's all right. The proximity prompt is in there. Let's hit the plus sign and then hit a V. There's our vector force. That's cool, but this is different than the old body movers, if you know what those are. Vector forces require an attachment. So let's add an attachment. So let's go to our handle, hit the plus, hit A for attachment. Boom, we got an attachment. So we got our vector force, got our attachment. Let's click on vector force. And there is a force, a default force already. So we have 1,000 by 0 by 0, or 1,000 comma 0 comma 0. I'm going to make it 0 comma 0 comma 0. I'm going to add the force with code. And pay special attention to relative to attachment 0. What is attachment 0? Well, we have it right here. We don't have anything selected. We need to add it. So go ahead and click to the right of attachment 0. Go to that attachment we added. Boom. Now our vector force is connected to our attachment. But because we're doing, a, we're doing the force relative to the attachment, we need to see the orientation of the attachment. That's what's going to determine which direction the force is going to be applied. Let's go and take a look at that. I'm going to get closer here. I'm going to hit my move. I'm going to select the attachment. I'm going to drag it out so I can see it. I'm going to hit the select button to get rid of the move arrows. All right, so we have two axes here. We have this orange one. That's the Y, that's the up down. We have to keep that in mind. That's what's gonna allow us to go up and down with our jetpack. This right here is the X, right? But I want the X pointing in a different direction because I want that to be my forward and backward force. So I'm just gonna rotate it. I hit that rotate button. I rotate it this way. Whoop, a little too far. There we go. We can look at our orientation on the attachment. Go to C frame orientation. It is uh, 
negative zero, which is zero, 90 degrees and zero. That's looking pretty good. Now when we apply the force, we're going to be able to figure out which direction it's going to go in. All right, I want to put that back inside my handle. I don't want to line it up though. Let's hit our handle and then go to the C frame and get the position. Do a control C, get our attachment and then in world position or world C frame position, control V, paste it, boom, it's going to put it back in the center. Nice. Because if it's off center, our flight's going to be a little bit, a little bit funny. It's going to be a little bit unpredictable, especially if it's this way. All right. I think we're ready to start adding some code. Let's go to our equip script. There we go. And we'll scroll up to the top. I have a lot of stuff in here, but I don't have anything for the vector forces. Let's make a variable for our vector force up at the top under hover force. I'm going to do local, I'll call this VF for vector force. Pretty creative. I'll make it nil. And let's scroll down here. Take a look at that command from player. So we're going to be adding forces here, whether we want to go up or down, forward, back. This is from the UI. And we have our init player. We have to pay special attention here. And I put a note, initialize vector force variable. So this is the VF that we declared above VF. And that's going to be equal to, well, we have a jetpack. This is the cloned jetpack right there. The handle is on the jetpack and our vector force is on the handle. Down here, what I do is I calculate the mass of the character while he's wearing the jetpack. So after you put the jetpack on, we're going to go through all the descendants, descendant parts, get the total mass, multiply it by the gravity, and that's going to give you about the force you need to hover. It's going to be slightly less though, because we're applying the force to the attachment, which is not in the center of mass. So you're going to see a little bit of changing that you have to do. You can play around with it, but it's close enough for me. Now here I put a note, assign force to the vector force, right? So I have this, this starter force that's going to make you about, about zero G. I'll get my vector force dot force, right? And apply that hover force, right? So it's zero on the X, zero on the Y, and then about enough or zero on the Z and about enough on the Y to kind of make you hover. All right, so now that we got our hover force, I'm gonna copy this, control C, and right here, we're updating our UI. I was just sending zeros. We can actually send the force. We actually got a force. Let's scroll up to command from player. All right, we got the remove where we can get rid of the jetpack. And then we have this up. We want to apply force here. Do a control V. What do I have? Yeah, VF dot force. I'm going to do a plus equal vector force three new. Now this is up. So I'm going to do a zero and let's add a hundred to our Y and a zero to the Z. That's going to make my upward force greater. Let's do control C, copy. For the down force, the down force is just going to be a negative number. So it's going to subtract 100 from the Y. Forward and back are both going to be on the X. We're not actually going side to side here. I didn't add any functionality for that. We can do our VF force. There we go. A plus equals vector three new. We'll do 100 on the X for forward, zero on the Y, zero on the Z. And back, or I should say, it's probably going to slow us down because we're probably going to be moving forward already. We're just going to do a negative 100. There you go. Now you can move, you can increase your force up and down and front and back. And of course, you could just turn your character if you want to go in another direction because we're applying it not relative to the world. We're applying the force relative to the attachment. Down here, what we're going to do instead of having this 
vector three new with the zeros. This is going to the UI to update your UI readout. Let's go ahead and delete that. We're going to put our VF dot force in there so that we can get, we can see what our force is on the UI. Let's play this and see what we got. All right, let's go get our jetpack. There it is. Equip jetpack. Sweet. Let's hit the space bar. All right. That's pretty good. That's pretty close to zero G. Let's add a little bit to it. Forward force. Notice how we start going down a little bit with the forward force. And that is because our attachment now is angled and the force is pressing outward from the jetpack. So you could actually modify the, um, the orientation of that, of that uh, attachment for the vector force. But I think it's pretty good like that. We could just increase this force a little bit. Now we're, now we're going well. I like it. Should we remove it? Duh. Oh, I shouldn't have removed it so far away.